sciences, fluid physics, and other disciplines. In future, there will be more of my colleagues from the European Space Agency, from the Japanese Space Agency, and also from the Canadian Space Agency, which will be part of long-term crews. And uh, I think all of the uh, agencies that are involved in the ISS program are looking forward to the moment when we really can utilize the station for its uh, originally designed purpose to uh, act as a um, multifunctional research laboratory. The ISS Laboratory Inventory expands again on the next shuttle flight when a pressurized logistics module for the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency Science Facility is delivered. Two later shuttle missions deliver a 36-foot long pressurized laboratory module and dock it to the port side of Node 2, reposition the logistics module, install two robotic arms, and plug in two platforms for experiments that are to be continuously exposed to the low Earth orbit environment. Arriving along with that first component of the Japanese laboratory Kibo, which means hope, is the final component of the Canadian Space Agency's mobile servicing system. The special purpose dexterous manipulator, known as Dexter, is a two-armed robot that can be attached to the station's Canadarm2 or to the mobile base system. Flown by crew members from inside Destiny, Dexter will perform intricate maintenance and servicing tasks that otherwise require an astronaut to make a spacewalk. In the following years, the station's science capacity will expand again when two new Russian laboratories are installed. When it has more labs, the station will need more supplies. The European Space Agency reinforces the supply line with its automated transfer vehicle, a series of uncrewed supply ships with three times the cargo capacity of a Russian progress vehicle. Deliveries to ISS by a Progress and Soyuz, ATV and Space Shuttle will be augmented later in the decade by JAXA's H-2 transfer vehicles, which will have capacities slightly smaller than the ATVs. A shuttle flight in 2009 finishes outfitting the station to accommodate six crew members full-time. And a year after that, the last thing that we're going to put, like the cherry on top, we're going to put the Node 3 on there, uh, which will largely be um, uh, much of the regenerative ECLIS capability will live in there, as well as uh, crew habitation capability will be distributed between Node 3 and Node 2. Uh, so that's a pretty important module for us as well. By that time, all of the partner agencies will have their own control centers monitoring station operations. NASA's flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston and Payload Control Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The Russian Mission Control Center in the Moscow suburb of Koyalov. CSA's Mobile Servicing System Operations Complex in Saint-Hubert near Montreal. ESA's Columbus Control Center outside Munich to monitor science operations in Columbus. And a second control center in Toulouse, France to control the flights of the automated transfer vehicles. And JAXA control teams at the Tsukuba Space Center north of Tokyo overseeing science operations in Kibo and the flights of the H-2 transfer ships. Although the space shuttles will be retired by 2010, the International Space Station will be the destination for the first flights of the next generation American spaceship, Orion. The vehicle that will take us back to the moon and then to Mars will be part of the international effort to use ISS to learn how to achieve our vision of space exploration. The contribution of ISS is an important one because really from a long duration standpoint, um, we need to understand again what the human physiology reaction to those kinds of things is and what kind of countermeasures we can uh, invoke in order to mitigate the deleterious effects of those uh, long duration stays in orbit. And it's very important that not just the partners in terms of our agencies to be excited about this. We need the world to wrap their arms around the International Space Station, realize it's there, realize what it can do, and energize us all to make this next step into exploration. <laughs>